Hey guys, always looking forward to this video every month. This is my weekly plan with me. So I've been in this guy. Let's see. You can kind of see. All right. This is we going to fold out from my summer touch. Um, last month and the last th the last three months, I've been using the um, uh, what's it called? Mun weeklies where it's all every week. You can see like the whole month. Um, I wasn't really using that for a lot. I really loved the whole setup, but I'm realizing that this is a little bit more spelt since it's only one flap instead of an extra flap with like all those pages. Um, it still gives me the same like amount of space and utility so I can use this the same way as I've been using the Mun Weeklies. Um, and so this is what I'm going to, this is what I'm in this month. So yeah, let me just pull this off. So um, I, the thought is like, I've been really doing well with weekly spreads lately and working off a weekly to-do list and then just occasionally wanting to have a daily to-do list. So my thought is to do dailies on sticky notes. So I've ordered some sticky notes from um, Peanuts Planner Co. Cause she makes these um, really cool sticky notes. The one I got has like a daily on it and they fit and they're great. They haven't come yet. Um, so in the meantime, I'm using these that I got from AliExpress and I, they are terrible. Um, they just, they don't stick. You can see that's why I have uh, washi tape on this one because I have it taped in place so that I can use it well. Um, but in any case, this is what we've got. I did this thing. I also am really proud of how this week turned out on the flap. Um, this is the part that's just sort of decorative and fun. I like the color scheme going on this month of the green and purple. As I mentioned in my monthly plan with me, um, I pick green and purple because I like them. And so this makes me really happy. Um, I think all of these are from Planner Kate. These ones are from Twin 16 and this one is from QT. I got this wrong last time I said it. Sweet Tea Sticker Co. So let's go ahead and flip to the next week. I set myself a little <laughs> reminder here in case I flip to this and wanted to plan out the next week. Don't forget to film it. All right. I think I'm just going to, should I pull it out? I'm going to pull it out so that I can work on a flat surface. So first things first, let's look at our events for the month. Let's see, or for the week, I mean. This is gonna be the week of, grab a pen, let's do the same colors. The week of the 11th through the 17th. So we'll just start with those dates. I have just been doing these unedited plan with me's lately. I hope you guys don't hate it. If, all right, you don't have to be strong, like hate anything. Just if you have a preference, do go ahead and let me know down below um, because I am gonna continue to do a variety of styles, but I probably should start doing something more polished soon. Um, so let's see, 11 through 17th, we've got Comic-Con registration happening here. And that's it on here. And then event, oh, these are tasks. You see, I do have some tasks. All right. So I want to use different washi tape from last week. Pick something green. Oh yeah, where's that one green that I like? Here it is. I like this one. Maybe also something purple. Maybe. This one with the little scallops, that could be fun. Okay. So we want on the 16th, I'll use one of these little guys. Then I'm gonna just sort of see how the color balance looks first. So this washi tape was, I think this was a birthday gift from my cousin last year. And I believe it's from Michael's. So here we go. Let's go most of the way across and then give it a little rip. It's fun, right? 
and then do this on the other side. Hmm. So I got these nails done. Mm, when was it? I don't even know. I think it was maybe two weeks before Halloween. So it's been three weeks now. It's been working really well. It seems like whenever I do my own um, gel polish, it doesn't last that long. And these, eh, I've got some chips. I actually did use um, a matte top coat over them after like a week or two because I was... One of them was like chipping near the end um, and I just wanted to kind of seal that off and kind of protect it. Anyway, then I start, I got like a really bad ding on one of them that was like, I don't know how to explain what happened, but it was like a across the side where I could like push down the end and it was like, you could see underneath it on the other, if that makes sense. <laughs> Anyway, so I just went ahead and like trimmed all of my nails and I was so sure it was gonna like chip the edges and like I would have just chunks peeling off and it wouldn't work. But it actually was fine. And I just basically trimmed and filed my nails and now they look funny because they look short but they're actually still pretty medium length. And uh, this one. So that's good, but then it's still kind of weird because then you don't have like the tapered edge that you normally get after like wearing your nails for a while. Um, instead of that tapered edge, I have like just a blunt filed straight across, you know, cut and filed straight across. So it's like the ends of my nails are really blunt, which is just making it weird. Uh, the reason I pulled this up, mentioned this was because I was trying to get the tape off the edge with these weird, weird stubby blunty nails. So same idea, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the to-do list on, this is what I had last week, right? Oh gosh, these things don't stick at all. This is what I had last week where I had to-do here and then I, this week is like video production and then dinner here. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to put dinner like it it kind of makes sense to have it on the side. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the same exact thing again. So let's see. Here. All right. Except I'll just use both tapes as you do. So how is everyone's November going? It's weird the things I've been seeing on like planner Instagram. Um, are like people stressing out that they haven't started their Christmas planning yet or that they haven't gotten their 2020 setup done yet. And I'm just over here like, I have no plans to even begin my 2020 setup until December. Because I know about myself that if I set it up too early, I'm gonna get impatient about using it because I'll be excited about whatever I've decided. And I'll be, you know, getting sick of my current year's setup before I'm ready to move out of it and it'll just make the rest of the year kind of miserable sitting around in like an obsolete but still required to be there system and so I am just gonna do it like okay last no last year is it last year no last year was fine last year I just stuck in the same planner and I just had the new yearlies, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. But the year before was when I was still in the traveler's notebook. So I was pulling out like a new um, collections insert for the new year and stuff. But that was when I was pregnant. And first trimester hit me really hard as far as like um, fatigue. And so I like I, I put it off for a long time. It didn't happen because I was too busy. It was like Christmas takes precedence. And then I wasn't able to do it after Christmas because we first went to Arizona to help my grandma move. If you remember all of that, if you were subscribed back then. And then I got a cold. Excuse me. I got a cold and then I got a stomach bug and then I got another cold. And all the while I was still, I moved into my second trimester at this point, but I didn't end up setting up my year in my traveler's notebook until February, maybe March. It was ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and use 
The same old planner Kate to do stickers. Loving these, using them all the time. Let's see. Do, do. This. This week. Ideally, I'd like to, to say projects, or even more ideally, maybe videos, but projects is more versatile. Go. And then dinner. I love that these match. All right. Lovely, lovely. So this is just sort of a list of the things that I have the ingredients for, which at this point actually is not much. I currently have ingredients for croque madame and is it croques madame or croque, you know, you know what I mean. I don't know the plural of croque madame, but we do each get our own sandwich. Um, I need to do some menu planning either maybe tomorrow. I'm filming this on Saturday. So let's see, to do the main big thing, which I think I'm going to like highlight in here, if I could. Huh. I would, but all the highlighters I would want to use are not here right now, is to clear the guest room. What's going on here? Okay. Clear. Because, so we've got this extra bedroom. And we are going to rent it out to a an aunt who's not related to us. Um, because she just got like a notice with like a month's notice that she needs to be out of her apartment. And so she's looking to rent a room and we are looking to pay off some debt. So I think it's going to be a good fit. And uh, she's going to move in like by Thanksgiving. So we just got to clear out all of the junk. This room has just been like all of the baby stuff that we're not using anymore. It's just like quick and easy storage instead of putting it out in the garage where it can get dirty and like sort of more weather beaten. You know what I mean? All right. So Saturday is Comic-Con registration and you know, may the odds be ever in your favor, but like if it doesn't happen, I feel like I'd be okay with that. We've been, it's been great. Also, it's adorable when we mention, like I asked Agnes if she wanted to go to Comic-Con and she said like Bakamon or something. It was cute. She tries to pronounce it. <laughs> okay, so that's like the only event event. Oh, ooh. Yes, I had a sticker that I was going to use for the library. So I've mentioned this before. If you're not new here, you probably remember. We go to the library. Oh, here we go. We go to the library every Tuesday evening for a story time. Because they have a story time in the evenings. Um, yeah, obviously on Tuesdays. And I'm pretty sure because I just got a text message about it. Let's see, the library, library books. Yeah, due on the 12th. So the library books are due. So I'm going to put that note here as well. Let's put books. Books due. And then the little picture of the book will be enough of a reminder of what I do every single Tuesday. But I always want to put something on this fold out because it's a nice little visual representation of the week. I like how it turns out, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, man, but then I do have some to do items. Um, there we go. podcast. This is the podcast I put together for my Hogwarts.com. One way or another, it's going to go out on Monday when it's due. Um, I'm still trying to get a hold of the last recording I need from one of my um, collaborators. All right. Use you audit also for MH. I need to go through and make sure that everybody is still has their classes up and everything. Vacuum filter that is on one. There's a day of the week that I do this. I need to swap out the vacuum filter. I'm just going to put it on the general to do list and hope that I remember on the day that it happens. 
because I use an app for my cleaning to-do list. And I am, maybe will do a video about it. We'll see. Uh, let's see. To pay our medical bill and change razor and throw the tablet cleaner thingy in the washer. And then, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Let me see. Do I have? Oh yeah. No? No? Yes? No? There are. Here they are. These little stickers, also from 2016. Don't use them very often, but here we go. Green. I've already used one green one. But I've been kind of alternating blue and green, and I already have purple. It's blue and purple and green. I already have purple for Saturday, so I want to put green here because, yeah, the crown season three. Definitely looking forward to that. Who else? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, then I think that's a, it as far as to do's, but since I'm being all real and unedited with you, I'm going to actually show you how I set up this side over here. Like I already mentioned that I don't know what we're doing for dinners yet. And I've done a whole video about menu planning. Um, so you can check that out. It's not very old. So this section here, um, I'm not going to show you everything in here, but this is like my content planning section. So this is where I mark off like that I've prepped and it's ready to go all of the Instagram posts, blog posts, YouTube videos and stuff for the week. This here is a to do list next and then project lists after that. But the important thing is right here is the videos upcoming for this month. Haha, -ha, preview for you. Nothing breakthrough that you wouldn't be already expecting. So we're going to be doing a flip through for next week. So that's the first thing that goes here. Um, wait, no, that's for next week. This week is this video that you're watching now. So I don't have to put film because it's already done. Sometimes I don't get to filming my Thursday video till Monday, but weekly plan with me is kind of have to get filmed early. So we're doing this week plan with me. And then I just list the basic steps. Film I'm not going to write because I've already done it, obviously. And then I just have to edit. And then meta means all of the uploading and tags and end screens and all of it. Then Sunday is insert storage. I am also planning to film that this weekend. Ideally, I'd like to film it right after I film this one, if the baby still continues to nap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same. I'm gonna just count on myself getting it filmed uh, this weekend and not have to worry about it next week. And then since I kind of would like to get a little bit ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh no, I also need to plan a blog post. I need to do a blog post. So that, I'd like to get that out on Wednesday, but I don't know what it's gonna be, but I have to draft it. And then I just write schedule, but basically that means like, you know, copy editing, all of the metadata, and then scheduling. And then next Thursday's video is going to be the flip through. I know that a couple of you really look forward to these every month, so get excited. I will be showing you how I'm using the new My Summer Touch um, inserts, which I know I, I mentioned to, to Emma that I was going to be doing that. So look forward to some of these things. So I'm just going to try to film that this week and maybe even actually the next week's, uh, it's going to be faves just enough room here to just do some prep for that one. So yeah, getting ahead would be good because if we're going to be helping um, Tita move in, 
like before Thanksgiving and with the holidays coming, it'd be good to be a little bit ahead on some of these things. And then I just write down all of the dinners here. You basically, I just cross them off once they've been eaten. And then that's pretty much it. I'll set this back in. This is good. This is good. And so it's like an individual week. I think actually I'll probably keep it like this and fold them together just so that it's easy to flip to the tab and then just flip it like this. Um, even though it's not the month weekly with everything going crazy off to the side. So there we go. It'll get filled up as it does. But that is how I'm using these inserts right now and really am liking them. So thanks to Marushka again, which hopefully I've been pronouncing your name right uh, for designing these. They're just simple and really handy and I like them. I like the size of her grid paper too. It's not too big. Like I write pretty small. Oh, and I've been using this pen too. If you noticed, I'm not using the pilot anymore. Um, just because this one fits in the uh, pen loop. So that's everything. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.